Hey guys, it's Momo. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a Gloomy Bear makeup tutorial. I'm switching it up a little bit and instead of doing a voiceover, I'm just gonna like do my makeup and then talk to you while I do my makeup. Since this is a part of my Cosmetoberfest challenge, um, I'm probably not gonna have a lot of time to do voiceovers, so we're just gonna try to do this. And if you have questions or if I'm just dumb and forget to say something, um, let me know. We are doing the look inspired by my blue gloomy bear. As you can see, he's got kind of like a burnt orange red eye. He's got a little slime, probably from all the zombies he kills. And then of course the classic blood under the mouth. So we are, we're doing that. So I already have my foundation and eyebrows. Um, you can do a fun, like colorful brow if you want. So for the gloomy bear look and for a lot of the more crazy looks like my Mad Hatter cosplay, other stuff I do, <laughs> um, I use Urban Decay's electric palette. You can use any liquid lipstick that you want um, in order to do the slime effect or any kind of drawing on your face. You can also use liquid eyeliner, which I have in red for the blood. <laughs> your options are options. You, you, got, you got some. So first off, what we're going to do is contour, and what I like to do with these like fun looks like this is do a color contour. So instead of doing um, nude or natural tones on my face, I do bright colors like pinks or purples or even um, green or whatever you want to do. I'm going in with Urban Decay's uh, Afterglow, and it is in shade Bittersweet. Um, I got this ages ago, so I am not sure if they still have something like this, but it is a nice, warm-toned purple. So we are just going to dip in with an angled brush. This is literally just an e.l.f. brush. You can get it for $2 at Target. And we're just going to start at your temple, and then add most of the color there, and then just slowly blend out. Go ahead and get a smaller angled brush. Make sure to tap for excess fallout. I don't know if I said that already. I'm not, I'm not good at this. So then you're just going to go on your natural shadow line and you're gonna see the shadow on your nose. And you can also do it a little over or a little under depending on how narrow you want your face to look and just blend it out. I have the electric palette from Urban Decay. I also have the blood sugar palette which is my new favorite obsession um, by Jeffree Star. It's so cute. Sugarcane or cake mix would work as a good base. So we are going to go with sugarcane because that's the lighter shade and see what happens. So you can do an angled brush or a flat brush for this. We're just gonna kinda experiment. And then we're also going to go under because we are going to do eyeshadow underneath your eyeball for that kind of like caved in look, which we're going for. So if you have insomnia like me, you got that nice little natural bag under there and that'll be perfect for this look today. Because what is sleep? Now... Looking at him, he's got kind of like a burnt orange. And then his eyes are pink, so we may do something with the eyeliner with the pink. Because I have this NYX Vivid Brights eyeliner. 
so we will see. I've had mixed reviews about these from fellow cosplayers, but they were like $1.50, so I got a bunch, and we'll see what happens. Okay, so we are just going to go into Slow Burn, which is the orange in the electric palette. And we are going to put it on an angled brush. Tap your shit. And then I like to start under the eye first and then work my way up, but you can do top, bottom, bottom, top, whatever floats your boat. So when you go on the top, make sure you are blending in a circular motion so that you get that nice round baggy eye look. Then I'm going to go in with the Hot Pink Savage and I'm going to put that on my lid. And then I'm going to take whatever is left on my brush and I'm just going to lightly brush my nose. So I have a little pink on my nose. I am using Liquid Frost Lavender Snow by Jeffree Star. And again, any highlight will work. You don't have to use the same products as I do. This is just what I'm doing. So you're going to get an angled brush again. and. I like to make an upward motion. Yes. And you just kind of do it right above your line for your contour. And then get the bridge of your nose. Nice and highlighted. And then I just like to dab with my finger. Dab. And do my cupid's bow, which is this little part on your lip. All right, so now we are gonna go ahead and skip to the lips, which I am using Androgyny by Jeffree Star. It is a nice, dark, cool toned nude. And I love it. And I think it's perfect for Gloomy Bear because it's just, it just is. Okay, so now I am going to use the NYX Vivid Brights in, I think it's just red, for the blood. So Gloomy Bear always has this little blood moment going on so I am going to use that and make my brush strokes cartoony okay so it looks like this NYX vivids worked really well um, yeah I definitely recommend it if you are using this for cosplay purposes um, or even just like normal eyeliner I haven't tested it over eyeshadow yet but we will I think I'm gonna go with pink and then I'm gonna do the green slime on my cheek and forehead so we will do that so I can definitely see why some people don't like this product for the eyes um, it's buildable, but it's just, it's a little sloppy. So it's good for outlining and coloring in if you're doing like a fun look like this that you need like shapes and stuff on your face. 
but as far as like functioning as actual eyeliner, um, it's very okay. Okay, so I did my mascara and falsies off camera because no one wants to see that mess. So yeah, now we are going to attempt the slime. So I am again using this Krylon Aqua Color Liquid UV um, face paint. I just want to try this because it's a new thing I have. So we will see how it works out. I'm just going to put a little bit like oh, in the cap and then put this far away from my bed. I'm going in with an eyebrow brush and going to again trace and then fill in. Also when you're ever doing anything like makeup related on your forehead you want to make sure it is lower than you feel like it should be because you have your natural hairline and then you're going to have your wig hairline which is going to be different plus like bangs and all that so just keep that in mind when you're doing forehead stuff. So it's not as solid as I would like it to be so I'm going to have to wait for it to dry and then do a second coat on top to get that really bright pop in color. I normally don't have to do this with liquid lipstick or like this I only had to do one coat so that's a thing. Alright, so while I am waiting for my slime to dry, I'm going to go ahead and get ready and grab my wig and my kigu and we are all done with this makeup look. I hope this was helpful. Um, let me know in the comments if you have any further questions or even if you can think of a better technique or method to like apply anything, let me know. I always love learning new things so definitely go ahead and drop me some of those some of those knowledges, some of those thoughts in the comments. And I'll be back soon. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial and supporting my art. I seriously can't thank you guys enough. You're the best. If you guys want more tutorials like this and exclusive content and rewards, go ahead and follow my Patreon link down below. If not, no pressure. I still really appreciate all your support.